Things to do in Moonta Bay. Port Hughes fishing charters are a must for the keen fishermen or the little tackers. They pride themselves on providing a fantastic inshore and deep sea fishing experience. So whether you're chasing a big snapper or looking to bag out in whiting, your skipper Barry will ensure you have an exciting and adrenaline pumped experience. The Moon to Chocolate Sweets and Treats is a must if you've got kids or if you're a big kid with a sweet tooth. They have an amazing range of sweets and chocolates that are sure to take you for a trip down memory lane. Located on the main street, you'll be sure to find something here to treat your taste buds. Mm. The Coffee Barn and Gelateria is a hidden gem located off the beaten track. With lots of interesting garden areas and outdoor sitting area, it's the perfect place to get some pancakes on a Sunday morning. Not to mention, they have a large range of gelati for those hot summer days. The Moonta Mines Tourist Railway is a guided tour of the historic Moonta Mines State Heritage Area. Featuring extensive commentary from local drivers, passengers are taken past many historic landmarks of the former mining operations, including the reservoir, ore sorting floors, and through a tunnel in Ryan's Tailings Heap. Miner's Cottage and Garden was opened to the public in 1967. Built of sun-dried mud, grass, bricks, wattle and daub, it is considered an excellent example of its kind. The Kadena Playground is quite possibly the best playground on the York Peninsula. Plenty of equipment for the kids to play on, lots of wide open spaces and centrally located in the township of Kadena, 17 kilometres away from Moonta. Go to www.moontobaycaravanpark.com.au 